you uh, very much, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Dondero, special good morning to you. I want to thank you for your 51 years of service uh, to the government. That is not just something passing in the night. It speaks to a great deal of dedication uh, and a great deal of experience. And I want to commend you on the work over at GAO. As uh, the chairman said, today's hearing really does focus on the GAO's 14th annual report on duplicative programs and opportunities for cost savings, allowing us hopefully to be able to zero in um, on the areas where we can work together to cut waste, to encourage greater collaboration, and to serve as better stewards of the American taxpayers' dollars. In keeping with what you've just heard, I do want to say that uh, while we have your written testimony and it will be part of the official record, please feel free as we go through this exercise uh, to elaborate on those things that you think are very important that may not be captured in that testimony. Promoting greater efficiency and effectiveness of all of our federal programs, agencies, offices, and initiatives government-wide is what this subcommittee is about, and we uh, take great pride in being able to make sure that we dig as deep as we can to push the envelope to get the answers to make sure that the American taxpayer, the American public is served properly. Since the report's genesis in uh, 2011, Congress and the agencies have fully or partially addressed almost 73 percent of all of the matters and recommendations, and as Mr. Sessions just said, in that process, there was identification of $667 billion in financial benefits. That's no small number, and it is a, a great achievement. Congress and federal agencies have achieved these financial benefits through implementing, as you know, GAO's recommendations to eradicate duplication and fragmentation of many of our federal programs increased oversight of the Small Business Administration's Paycheck Protection Program, as an example, saved $13 billion alone. And this committee was in the forefront of making sure that we were able to underscore and to try to find a way to capture uh, those funds. As we all know, COVID forced 45 percent of those same small businesses across the country to close their doors. The PPP authorized the SBA to distribute a record $659 billion to help small businesses across the country to be able to continue to pay their employees. However, as we all know, unscrupulous actors took full advantage of the crises and went about the task of defrauding the program and defrauding the taxpayer. The chairman and myself and members of this committee fought back against those instances of fraud. My own efforts here in the House included two bills, H.R. 5427 and H.R. 4666, that I co-sponsored and had passed through the House just last year. At the agency level, the SBA implemented an oversight plan, including an automated screening system to identify potentially ineligible fraudulent applicants and recipient or recipients, leading to billions of dollars in cost savings, again, for the taxpayer. This year's report identified 112 new matters and recommendations in 42 new topic areas for Congress or federal agencies to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of our government. These recommendations span across departments and branches of the government, calling on both the Congress and agencies to rise to the occasion to take additional action towards ensuring that the government works better for all people and to do so as quickly as possible. As we consider methods to reduce unnecessary spending, I think it's important to point out that the House is voting this week to fund the Department of Defense with probably two different vehicles for the second week in a row. And I mention that because over the past 14 years, GAO has identified $197 billion in ways to cut cost at DOD. Notably, DOD still has the highest number of open duplication cases and the highest number of cost-saving recommendations that have not been fully implemented. The Department of Defense has a history of 
challenges with its financial management systems and business processes, internal controls, and financial reporting. And to that extent, sir, the GAO noted that DOD in particular should, quote, improve oversight of its financial management systems, allowing for more informed investment decisions which could result in cost savings and a clean audit opinion. I understand, um, members of this committee also understand the importance of funding our military to protect democracy at home and abroad. However, we must really work to eliminate and not exacerbate duplicative efforts to ensure our nation and our troops get the greatest value out of every dollar spent. So Mr. Dodaro, this report uh, is a critical service to the Congress. We appreciate it. Uh, it gives all of us a chance to develop a third eye and to look deeper into how we are doing what we do and to ask the deeper questions, are we doing it as best as we can? The GAO uh, traditionally has been an important ally to the subcommittee's work in increasing the effectiveness and the efficiency of federal government. I look more forward to hearing more of your testimony before the subcommittee. I want to thank you again for your 51 years of service, and I yield back to the chairman. I want to thank the gentleman uh, 